ultra crispy but burn. Ah, ah. Hello! Nothing even mildly interesting happened until now, except so freaking proud. One of my best friends, Masha, she started blogging about beauty about seven or eight years ago. Uh, nowadays, she does a lot more. She wrote a book, she organizes events, and she vlogs also. She's one of the reasons I, well, actually she is the reason I started vlogging because I loved her vlogs so much and I loved keeping up with my friend's life in such an easy way. Um, nowadays, she is the number one female social influencer in the Netherlands and she just collabed with Eiler to design some lashes. Uh, they're going to be for sale at all Ethos drugstores in the Netherlands. If you live in the Netherlands, of course, go check them out. I can't wait to try them on myself. If you're visiting the Netherlands, there are enough Ethos stores in Amsterdam. Just hop in and check out her lashes. Look at this cutie. Look at her glowing. I'm so happy for her. This is really, really, really cool. And such a, uh, I think, such a beautiful opportunity for her to do what she loves because she loves beauty. This girl really, really loves beauty. I released the, the collab video with Beertje van Beers, the sexy hotspots in Amsterdam, and the, the collab with Corton. Uh, it was uh, how guys travel versus how girls travel personally I am so happy with both videos I don't know like collabing with such positive people makes me even more inspired to make more videos and um, the, the video with Tom was definitely out of my comfort zone well actually with Bertie too because I haven't done many like um, how do you say that sexy things on my channel or something but um, yeah, I like I, I I like the experience. I've had such a good time. I hope you guys love the videos too. Right now, I'm going to um, to do something. And if you watched the last episode of Road Back to India last Sunday, then you know what I did. Uh, but actually, I'm going to do it right now. And after that, I'm going for grocery shopping. So join me, my base. All right, I did what I had to do. And now we are going grocery shopping. I'm gonna take you to Action. If you're Dutch, of course you know Action. But uh, if you're not Dutch, I would definitely recommend to visit this store. Um, it's not very conveniently located if you're a tourist, but maybe if you're staying near the Rai, there's an Action over there. Uh, I got my grocery bags. Let's do this. Oh yeah, we got some Action over there. Let me grab one of these. Mm. Oh, this is adorable. Valentine pizza. <gasps> yeah, I'm getting this one for Stefan. Oh. See, this is what Action is brilliant for. They always have um, s random stuff that they don't have anywhere else, and it's super, super cheap. But they sometimes also have like branded stuff and just lots of cute things and stuff. It's just so much fun to shop here. Oh, by the way, it's also a saying. You cannot enter the action and buy nothing or just buy the things you need. You will definitely end up buying twice as much. <laughs> it's just a fact of life. Ooh, and they got all these chocolates for Easter or actually they're just sweets. They have cookies and stuff like that. And I just saw, what is this? What is this? Ooh, this is so good. It's like, um, it's not a marshmallow. It's more like whipped egg whites. Uh, top with chocolate and a wafer on the bottom. This is so good. And they just put like hagelslag, uh, the sprinkles on top. Okay, well this sucks. I wasn't allowed to film my side anymore. Um, I did get a whole bag of stuff I probably don't need and I'll show you what I bought when I get back home because now it's... Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's so cute. It's a Friday over here, so maybe he had like a beer or something. Anyways, let's do regular boys. Go sweet. Go sweet. All right, so let me show you the Easter stuff over here. This is super, super traditional Dutch. It's Easter eggs. And I know they have like cream egg in the UK, but. Over here we have them in so many different flavors and so many different fillings. And what else do we have? Like the big Easter eggs. 
Um, this is a super Dutch cookie. I never tried this before before I came to the Netherlands, and it's um, it's cake filled with uh, cream, and uh, this is chocolate. I think there's also um, what is it called marzipan in it? I think there's some. It's super super Dutch. Oh, by the way, these cookies are also super super Dutch. So this is. Um, it's kind of a meringue, but it isn't because there is some dough in it instead of just with uh, egg whites. And this is uh, like, a, what is it? Kind of cream. Well, it's some kind of cream. And then over here we have this probably chocolate or something. This is super good. I used to be addicted to these, but I ate too much of them. And, uh, but yeah, that's how good they are. You should definitely try it. Groceries are dead. Let's do a mini grocery haul when I get home because I also bought some stuff for Valentine's Day that I usually don't buy. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. Alrighty, let's do this mini grocery haul. First of all, let's start with oven chips, which actually do taste better than regular chips. Lettuce, because you know I'm gonna be making those spring rolls again. These are just crackers and then we have uh, some eggs I don't eat eggs anymore but Stefan does then we have cilantro again for the spring rolls um, some almond almonds roasted almonds tomatoes lots of tomatoes tomatoes are, are easier to do with a British accent like British British <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Um, I'm going to be making sweet potato fries, I think, tonight. Whoa, looking forward to that. Mm, that's so good. Let me see what else we have. So this is um, a frozen meal for Stefan whenever he feels like eating these and not having what I cooked. And then we have carrots, also for the spring rolls probably. And pecan nuts. So that's what's in this bag. Oh, there's something in there as well. Oh, oh it's just mouthwash, mouthwash, mouthwash. <laughs> Let me see what else do we have here. Ooh, 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 ooh. One of my favorites, goat cheese. Love that. Um, some tofu. I definitely want to stir fry this again. Uh, nettle tea, yes, I bought it again and now I know it's called nettle tea. Uh, some mint for the spring rolls as well. Uh, we got some tempeh for the Indonesian vibe. I think I'm gonna marinate this in the soy sauce I just bought. And then we have brown rice. Ooh. What else, what else? Oats, of course, I buy these every week. Yeah. Ooh, so, it's definitely still at home. I actually thought he would leave for his parents immediately, but I bought some stuff for Valentine's Day. Almonds. Poffertjes. This is what he's going to have for breakfast. Also, you know what I want to do? I want to do like a Dutch supermarket food tour uh, for all my Dutchies out there. Please a list like the most dutch food and snacks you can get at the supermarket in the comments below if you if you feel like it of course because i was just looking through the cookie section and they were like uh bokkenpootjes and um how are those other cookies called oh mergpijpjes which is so typically dutch i never realized we have so much typical dutch food in the supermarket so i think i want to do like a dutch food supermarket tour which is really fun because uh last monday i was um i was showing around some friends from hong kong and i took them to the to the albert heijn near uh near magna plaza and we stayed there for like an hour or an hour and a half and i was like taking them through all the aisles and showing them what is typically dutch and it was so much fun to do and i was like wow if they like this as much um as i think they did <laughs> because i think they enjoyed it uh there must be other tourists that like it as well and i think for us dutchies it's also super fun to rediscover what kind of foods are typically dutch at least for me like when i looked at those merkpapjes i was like oh gosh yes this is so typically dutch and um yeah poffertjes as well so um yeah 
Stefan's going to have, he be having these on Valentine's Day for breakfast. Um, and then we have some hummus. Um, what else? And some legumes. Sorry if I'm staring at the screen above, but I just want to see if it's in focus because otherwise you have no idea what I'm holding, you know? Oreos. Of course. Um, fresh mango. Mm, what, else? what else? Ooh, lentils. Yes. Um, some broccoli. An load of lemons. Another frozen meal for Stefan. And ooh, the soy sauce. Yeah, got it. Oh, ooh, this is also for Stefan for Valentine's Day. I bought these um, ready to bake croissants and I was thinking of baking these for lunch, which is not you know it doesn't really make sense because it's more traditional to have these for breakfast and the poffertjes for lunch but um yeah i just feel like breaking the rules man hashtag rebel Ooh. something i'm really really excited about because i haven't eaten this in so long it's mad sauce it's the sauce which they serve in the dutch mcdonald's which i heard is very very typically dutch this sauce is so 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 delicious with fries um and with like a uh, pepper it's so good it's so good it used to be my go-to combo when i was um when i was younger obviously i used to eat more fries but um yeah i definitely can't wait to eat this again oh, i'm so happy and then also also for valentine's day what croissant is perfect without Nutella? Um, I'm going to just put these things in the fridge and in the freezer. Oh, my arm is falling off, man. Are you still with me? Are you still with me? Is this boring? Is this fun? Put a thumbs up if you like this. Um, because otherwise, you know, there's no point in wasting your and my time filming this. Anyways, uh, what I wanted to say is, oh, before my arm falls off, is is I'm gonna take you to the through the action groceries in a second. I'm just gonna put this away in the fridge and in the freezer before it all, uh, you know, goes to waste. So be with you. <laughs> be right back in two seconds. All right, let's do it. Let's go through the action stuff. Oh, it's such a mess over here. Anyways, let me just. Check this out. All right, so you already saw the candy pizza that I bought because Stefan eats a lot of pizza and he loves candy. So this is brilliant. And then we have super fluffy socks. Look at these. Oh, they're so awesome. I love it when I get up early for yoga that I can put some warm fluffy socks on my feet. And these are just perfect. And I love the colors. They're so um they're so happy and springy and then well this is just random this is detergent gotta have that and then ooh, ooh, i'm so excited about trying these so these are like those um candy yeah well it's candy tubes and cherry flavored i've never had the cherry flavored but i love candy tubes so definitely looking forward to trying those ooh, kinder chocolate my favorite love these ooh, ooh. this is also for um either for breakfast or for lunch on valentine's day i'm going to use these to, to decorate um, stefan's plate and then we have um yeah makeup removal wipes these are quite good even though they're very cheap the ingredients are um yeah not harsh for your skin or anything Ooh, i always use like an eyebrow pencil but now i wanted to try powder no idea if this is gonna work but it was cheap so i thought let's try this at home <laughs> and the last thing is i think is it the last thing oh no look i bought this i love this cream it's it smells so good it smells like um um like raffaello super sweet coconut love it and then we have this everything yep yeah. these last things so these are like 
ice chocolate cups when you and this is latte macchiato flavor so when you put this in your mouth somehow i don't know how they do it because it's not minty or anything if anyone knows how they do it put it down in the comments below um the chocolate becomes cold in your mouth and it's so good it's really delicious to suck on these wow that sounds so dirty but seriously they're really really good yeah so it sucks i wasn't allowed to film inside because they had a lot of cool stuff i wanted to show you and yeah, all I can say is if you're uh, in the Netherlands and have a little bit, little bit of spare time, definitely visit the action. It's super fun just to look, go through the stuff and everything. And now I'm going to make, well, first I'm going to hide these. Is he coming? No, no. What? You cannot come inside. Go away. No. It's fine. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> he has such a sad face. Okay, in two minutes I'll be right back with you. All right, I'm back. He didn't see him. Yeah. And um, I should be making dinner now, <laughs> but I have other priorities than <laughs> you know feeding my body. Um, this is eyebrow powder, and I just want to try it out like real quick. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I often see makeup gurus like mixing two colors. They love doing that. So you know, let me pretend to know what I'm doing. Oh, is it powder? Yes, it's powder. And then the dark color. I think I actually only need the dark color, but let me try it. Yeah. Oh no, this is, I think it's too brownish. I have like super black hair, man. No, I don't think this is working. Me. This is working? No, I don't think so. No, I think it's too brown. Look at my other eyebrow. This is just... What if I only grab the dark color? Let me see. I'm guessing this is very boring for boys. Sorry. For girls who don't like makeup. Yeah. I don't know. It's still brownish. I hate this. No, no. I'll just stick to my black pencil. It works better for my eyebrows. Yeah, okay. I'll donate this little... Um, this little eyeshadow, eyebrow, eyebrow powder kit. Yeah, maybe I can make someone else happy with it. Oh well. Yeah, I'm ready to pop the sweet potato fries in the oven. Um, actually, there's no <laughs> no recipe. You just cut up the fries and then, uh, yeah, season them with what kind of spices you want. Um, my Franny Bay from her food channel Food Gloss has a video with instructions on how to do this. Now, what should I make to accompany the fries? I don't know. I don't know. What should I make? Maybe just a salad. I, I think just a salad. Yeah. I'm gonna get started on the salad. Bam, the salad is done. So I just have some lettuce and um, carrots and cucumbers I had left from the spring rolls uh, yesterday. A tomato, an avocado, and a lot of feta cheese. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be so good. No! They kind of sort of burnt. Can you see it, can you see it, can you see it? <laughs> but it still tastes good though. Ultra crispy but burn. Ah, ah, no, ah. ah, disgusting. I'm just gonna, yeah, that's really a, a shame because you know, at least half of them is burned. Oh well, I'm just gonna eat the ones that are good, and luckily, I have a big salad, so that should be good. By the way, I just remembered, I really, 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 we really did not plan this, but. Dun, 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 dun. I thought I was gonna eat this with regular fries, but you know, sweet potato fries, just as good. Dinner is ready. Let me see if this tastes good. The sauce is good. It's all right. I can eat it. But um, you know what this really like ignorant thing is? I smell the fries burning. But in my mind, it's only, oh, the timer didn't go off. They're probably not burning. 
What is wrong with me? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have dinner and then uh, see you later. I hope you had a good time with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and go to bed because I'm super tired. Don't forget a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe because then I'll see you again and that will be super fun. See you tomorrow, babe. Bye. You need to stop vlogging because every time you vlog, the movies are sell sold out with, with the ones that we want to see. I think I was maybe 13 years old, 13, 14, 15, something like that.